We decided that it's appropriate to treat the patient today. So I click on soap note and I select Harvey. When I hit select, it may give me a series of pop-up reminders. Uh, in this case, we discovered that he had a bad experience in the past and didn't want to overschedule you know, him, and that's fine. And then I say done. So if this is the first visit, I was going to say first visit. And it'll say he hurt his back lifting a heavy box. I'll put that in the note. And it's going to have, in this case, because I had him in here from before, a neck issue, I might add the problem that we had, which was his right sacroiliac joint. So I put that in. We gave it an 8, I believe. If I don't want to use the neck one, I can remove it. And like I said, I can put as many of these in as, as, as are appropriate. So now I'm just going to go from screen to screen. So in the first one, it's going to say, uh, let's say he told us before that his back was bothering when he lifted things. So in this case, I'm going to say no. And we had said that bending, uh, standing, lifting, you know, whatever it is that irritates it, we'll put that in there. If there's anything that's making it better, he may have said nothing. In this case, maybe he said, uh, in reality, I want to modify that. Uh, he liked ice. He liked lying on his back. He liked non steroidal anti-inflammatories. And put that information in there. It normally grabs it from the, from the information that was placed in from the new patient consultation. In this case, because I had him in here before, uh, I've confused easy notes a bit. So now, range of motion. Uh, I might go into the lumbar range of motion and put in anything that was uh, wrong. Uh, we, it's going to give us that it, it's supposed to be 60 degrees, and let's say he can't quite do 60 degrees. He's got 40 degrees. Let's say extension, it's not quite there. Left lateral affection could be 25 degrees, but right lateral, I'm sorry, move that. Uh, on the right, it's 25, but on the, I'm excuse me, on the left is 25, but maybe it's only um, 15. So you put whatever it is that's appropriate, and then it'll select that. If I want to do another area, I can. If not, I'll just say, forget that. Now, in this case, he doesn't have any tender and taut fibers in his neck. All the issues that he's got are pretty severe in the right SI. So I select that. Then I can say any particular findings might be things like this. Sometimes when people present with right SI pain, they have a slight limp. So I can say it's a mild limp. Maybe I motion palpate him, and I find that the right side of the pelvis is locked, as is maybe L4 and L5. I palpate his back, and I find that there's muscle spasms on the right side. So I can say right lower lumbars, if that's the case, and say done. There might even be a trigger point here. So maybe the trigger point severe, and I locate it in the piriformis muscle. So if you wanted to get very specific, you could indicate perhaps that it was the origin of the right piriformis and put that in there and then say done. And if nothing else seemed appropriate, move on. Now, I had done these tests on him before. <clears throat> if I want them to be included in the soap note, I just say positive findings from last exam, and it pops them in the soap note. Now, if I check leg length and he lies face down, in prone, maybe he's a half inch short right, I pop that in there. Now, modalities, perhaps today, what I want to do is something like uh, interferential current. I want to do it at 1 to 150 hertz to the right SI for 15 minutes. Uh, in the state of Arizona, you have to indicate the settings. Uh, most of the states, you don't have to. I do it just to be thorough, but you wouldn't need to do it necessarily. So in this case, I'm going to say, uh, that's all I'm doing today. Do I want to adjust him? And you're going to pick your technique. So I'm a diversified kind of guy. I would say diversified. And I might say, uh, what I probably would do is if I didn't have any x-rays on him, say that I'm adjusting the lumbar, sacral, and pelvic regions, and build that out as a 98941. I might also do some SOT blocking if I wanted to do that and indicate that as such. You're just indicating what you're doing. Now, exercise-wise, 
we remember that he had tight hamstrings. So what I might do is say, I don't want to keep it the same. What I want to do is go to the exercises. Easy Notes has 234 exercises, but I don't know what they are as a new doctor using the system. So I might just type in hamstrings to find out. And they do have hamstrings where I could stretch against the, the wall or a door frame. And I might even customize it. So I want to do two sets of five reps every day this week to loosen up the hammies and it'll be in great shape. Now, there's the advantage of the fact that I can give it to the patient and if he's distracted from the pain, he can review it. Also, if he places it someplace like on his refrigerator, other people will see it and it's going to have all my information, including my phone number on here. If other family members are patients of mine, his name will be on here and their names may be on you know, other documents. I can just save it in this particular case, but I would print it out. I back out of here. If I want to give him a second exercise, I can. Otherwise, I would indicate that it took me eight minutes to explain this and be done with the exercises and move on to the next question. Now, in this case, I might work trigger points on him. Not so much in the neck, but maybe right glute, right piriformis, right psoas, you know, again, for four or five minutes, whatever is appropriate. Uh, again, on, on trigger points, uh, again, that whole area. I can pop that in there. So I was stretching muscles before for PNF stretching, and in this particular case, trigger point work. Now, under activities of daily living, perhaps all I do is tell him I'm going to have, I'd like him to ice it for 20 minutes tonight, and then say done. It'll say, how is he doing after the treatment? I would usually say slightly better. When do I want to see him again? I'll say tomorrow. What's the prognosis? Usually on a first visit, I would say fair, simply because it's a little too early to know. And then it's going to remind me, since he's a new patient, to bill out an ENM code, most likely a 99203. If I'm billing the adjustment under the 989, I'll use the 98941 for three regions. If I did take x-rays, perhaps we would say we did the 9, the 72100-26, because if we didn't shoot him, somebody else shot him. If we shot him, we don't use the 26 modifier. And I'm billing out for electric stim. I'm billing out for the exercises and the soft tissue work. And then I would make sure the diagnoses are correct. I know that they are. And I would then say, send to billing. We integrate with a number of billing softwares. We have our own as well. And then say, done. So normally, the first soap note without the explanation is usually one to two minutes. And then I'll have a daily soap note. I'll have the patient, the date of birth, the, the unique identification number if we want one, uh, today's date, if this would be probably would be visit number one, traditionally. Uh, then I'm going to have subjective findings, objective findings, the assessment, and the procedure plan. And then it has my name and signs it. And then I would say done. And that's how we do the first one. But I'm going to show you how to do the fast soap note as well.